After having built the basic version of the Clicker app, we want to enhance it to look like this now. We've rearranged the user interface a little bit, but the main change that we've made is that we've replaced the simple agree and disagree buttons that used to have this type of a format with these nice images of the thumbs up and the thumbs down. Otherwise, the app works exactly as it did before. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you a little bit of a hint as to how to uh, deploy one of these image buttons, but we're not going to show you all the code and you'll have to fill in the rest for yourself. First, let's uh, remind ourselves where the drawable folder is inside the resources folder. And on this current version of Android Studio, it is inside the app folder, inside source, inside main, inside resource. And what we want to do is we want to load these uh, images into this drawable folder. One of the easiest ways to do that, we've looked at how to upload directly in Android Studio. There's another way, let's just look at the drawable folder. We right mouse click and we'll just say show in Explorer. And you can see that the uh, the, the, the traditional Explorer window shows up here and what we want to do is we want to put the pictures right in the drawable folder and to do that we simply uh, download them into the computer and then we can just drag them in here and once you do that they'll show up. Now one important thing is you want to make sure that the pictures are nice and small. We could try to rescale it inside the app but it's much easier if we start off by editing these things using either Microsoft Paint or uh, some such thing and we this particular one that I've got is 80 pixels by 88 pixels so you just go to resize go to pixels and you put those numbers in there and hit OK and that'll be the right size for you for the app. Now let's just have a quick look at how we add one of these image buttons. Uh, you can uh, search for image button right here and it'll show up right here. Now if you have constraints already defined here you're gonna have to clear them in order to add a new image button. So you can clear the uh, all the constraints by hitting this button right here. And now let's say I wanted to add a new image button. I could just drag that over here somewhere. And then immediately it asks me what picture I want. And I'm just going to pick one of these pictures here. I'll just go with the thumbs up again. And you can see it's right there. And then you can just bring it wherever you want. And once again, you can infer the uh, constraints by hitting the plus button. And it'll fix everything together and now I've added this image button. Um, so this image button has all the same event listeners as a regular button does. So it, it really is just a regular button, but it just has an image in the background. One other thing I want to show you before we leave is if we go to the activity XML file and look at the text version, you can see that another way to set the background image instead of using uh, Android Studio directly is uh, by going in here and putting in this one line uh, which sets the source file and uh, that would be a, a manual way of uh, setting the background image on the button.